in a little bit. Is it orange paint? It's orange paint. <laughs> <laughs> Messed up the barbecue. It's a school experiment. Harrison's doing it. He's mummifying an apple. Are we recording? Yeah. Have we done an intro to this vlog or anything? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's do it now. Hey guys, it's vlog time. It's your boy. Pardon the kettle's boiling. Kettle's boiling, yeah. <laughs> sugar. Do you want sugar? No. Right, I think this is the start of the vlog. <laughs> I can't remember. It's Sunday morning, Sunday morning, so good to me. Oh, I'm excited. That's my excited noise, Claire. Okay. You've heard that before. I'm barbecuing, we're barbecuing. After the vlog where I did some barbecuing, the steak shop reached out to us. They've kitted me out with some really good meats and stuff. Today, I'm going to be barbecuing a porterhouse steak. I've never cooked that cut before. Has so it got a bone in it? Yeah, it's like a T-bone. I don't really know the difference between a T-bone and a porterhouse, to be honest right. with you. So what's the plan then? I don't know. See, usually, because it's a really good piece of meat, mm -hmm. and I think all you need to do with it is maybe put a bit of salt, pepper, and garlic on it, and then do it on the barbecue. But I'm worried that that might be a little bit boring. So I'm going to use this rub that I've got here, which is a tomahawk rub. Ooh. You interested? Yeah. Yeah, tomahawk rug, okay. I don't know whether I'm gonna reverse sear it or if I'm gonna maybe throw a little chunk of wood on the barbecue to maybe get a little bit of smoke in it as well. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I've got my book, my <laughs> Weber's Complete Barbecue book that you bought me for Christmas, so I'm just looking at some recipes in there. But I can't wait, it's a dry day. It is quite nice out there, to be fair. Hold it in. Well, I was thinking that I'd start putting some rub on the steak. Look at the size of that thing, Claire. I'm going to reverse sear it, Claire. Okay. I've decided. I don't know what that means, so, okay. Put some olive oil on it. This is just, it's just going to bind the rub. Wood chip. Yeah. So what's the rub? Have you went through that? The tomahawk from Peak Blends tomahawk rub. It's the first time I'm using it. That has been rubbed up the right way. That is a pretty impressive looking piece of meat. <clears throat> and I'd know. Hi. <laughs> Good news is there's a link. There'll be a link in the description box down below. Uh, to the steakshop.co.uk and they've given us a discount code so when you buy something and you use the discount code the buckley's you'll get 20 percent off some fabulous meat where you can do some barbecuing get involved look at you you're a real little vlogger good tonight <laughs> you managed to get your friends some oh yeah i've got to look after my fellow barbecuers is it orange paint? It's orange paint. Yeah, <laughs> got orange paint in my hair when I was doing that thing. Is that right, you're gone? Huh? Is that right, you're gone? You're done with the vlog? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Well, I've done my bit, listen. I'm here for the barbecue. Yeah. The barbecue. What, what's my thing then? You're, cause all the, you're getting sent barbecue stuff, and they're just sending me, you know, Ted Bundy memorabilia. That's what you want, didn't you? <laughs> That's all you want, is child, someone to send you Charles Manson's guitar. Oh God, I'd love that, James. I'd love that so much. Yeah. So hopefully, in a few weeks' time, maybe spring might start. And well, can... it's February tomorrow, so we're getting there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do so much barbecuing this year. This is going to be the year of barbecuing. There's going to be so much barbecuing done. Look at you, you can't wait, can you? You're so <laughs> excited. <laughs> Whatever keeps you out of my way. Yeah. Fine. 
you're out there at the road fiddling about with your meat. Mm. <laughs> I like it rare. I like it as rare as possible. I'd eat that. Oh, shut up. You would not. I'd, I'd sink my teeth into that. That's gross. Might wear a new apron. Go for it. Steak shop sent me an apron. Do I look like a professional? Yeah, it's quite nice, to be it fair. It is good. Yeah, it's a good apron, that. What are you doing, Claire? I'm going to make some of the potatoes that you like, which is just chopping them up, keeping the skin on, boil them with a bit of salt and then I will put them in the frying pan just to crisp them up and add paprika, maybe a little bit of garlic, some onion powder and that'll be it. So but don't you need to like keep your coals and stuff? Yeah I'll start getting my coals and we'll head up now then. Cold out there. Yeah, perfect much. weather for barbecue innit? Unless it's raining, always the perfect weather for barbecue. Right, why is this vlog turned into a barbecue cooking show. Do I need to come out? Yeah, you have to film it. <sighs> it smells quite good. Oh, it does smell good. Mm. Now, this might not go to plan, but that's the fun. That's the fun of barbecue. You always end up with something you can eat. Sometimes it goes, <laughs> sometimes it goes a bit wrong. You learn and you do better on the next one. Reverse sear it, I'm going to chuck a little bit of hickory, because why not? Alright, I'm going to stand back on this bit. Thanks. So I'm putting them all over to one side so that I can have a direct heat and an indirect heat place. Oh, okay. I'm going to chuck on these little chunks of hickory. I'm going to put it over here, indirect heat. For how long? I don't know, for about 10 minutes or so. It, it does feel like a Sunday, doesn't it? You know when it just feels, yeah, when it just feels like a slow Sunday. Steak's been having a little sort of smoky bake for about, for just over 10 minutes and now it's time to get it seared, which is going to be difficult with one hand. But my glamorous assistant is making the potatoes at the moment. So steak is done. Alright, I've seen how people do this. Cutting the bone out. Yeah. Raw for you? It's not too raw for me. Right, we'll just have it then. But it'd be too too raw for Harrison. It's definitely too raw for me. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. That is tasty. This, this is too rare for Harrison. Mm -hmm. Is that frying pan still on? Yeah. I'll fry this bit for Harrison. Alright, go on then, cut me a little piece. Let me try. It's just too rare for you. Yeah. You need this going for longer. I'll try a little bit. Oh no, I can't do that. Put the probe in it. I thought it needed to be done for longer. Why'd you take it out then? Well, there's a probe so it was hot. So the thicker bit is properly rare, but the thinner bit, yeah, that's, that's a nice sort of medium, medium perfect. rare for the H-bomb. Now I've got to be honest, it's a good job that I do like steak rare because, well, what? <laughs> well I f***ed it up a little bit, alright? <laughs> um, I don't think I put my uh, probe in thick enough and uh, I thought that the steak was cooked more than what it was. As I say, luckily for me, I think it's pretty good. Rubs really good. Yeah, it does the, the taste. smoke's really, really good. Most, I'm sure most people would just rather it cooked. <laughs> but again, another little lesson learned, and the next one will be better. You can really taste that smoke actually, mm -hmm. which is quite nice. See, but that's fine for me. Oh, it's juicy. Yeah. Oh, it's really juicy. Bit of steak, darling. It's a shame, because I've got the smoke and the flavours right, I think. Yeah, but if you like it like that, I mean, me, me and Harrison just chopped ours in the frying pan for two minutes. It's not lost any of its juice. That's good. And that's the bit that's been in the frying pan for 
for a couple of minutes just for me and Harrison because we're a bit <coughs> scared of it being too rare, aren't we? <laughs> I love it. Both cans, Kansas City is mm -hmm. the best. Socks. You know, if you can get yourself some Joe's Kansas City, You're in get some. Well, where did you get it from? I think I just got it from Amazon. Right. This is real, like, American barbecue sauce. It is it proper. Is. Really good. You like that? Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you like best? The steak or the potatoes? I actually can't pick. Oh, okay. They're both phenomenal. Oh, wow, there you go. It tastes so just good. It does taste good, it's just a little bit just too needs to do it, needs to do it longer. Is that good? <laughs> you alright? Yeah. What? What's up? Oh, I'm a bit annoyed. Why? No. Oh, messed up the barbecue. Messed um, up. It's tasty, girl. I just didn't cook it right. I'm just a bit no, you'd... fed up now. <laughs> okay, damage control. Here we are. <laughs> like you said earlier, you like it like that. Yeah, I know. But I would have liked you to have liked it a bit more and Harrison to have enjoyed it a bit more. We did eat it. Technically, I did like the steak. It was just a bit too. It was just too undercooked for me. Yeah. But it was nice. I've let everyone down. <laughs> No, genuinely, thank you, the steak shop. Sorry I let you down. <laughs> Just seeing what you're up to. What time is it, Claire? Three. It's now three. Mm -hmm. Listen, I reckon, I reckon it's time to have a little beer, shall we? <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. You don't want a beer? No, I've got a little sorry pop there. I might make myself a Tom Collins. Oh, nice. Shall I film you doing that? Yeah, do you want one? I'll have a little sip of yours. Alright, I'm gonna make a Tom Collins baby. You know everyone? No. Bop. Oh. 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 I'm in. <laughs> Tom Collins. Really simple. It's my favourite. You need some sugar syrup, you need some gin, you need some lemon juice, you need some soda water. And that is it. And the lemon. And some ice. And, that's, and that's it. That's it. Little shot of sugar syrup. A little bit of gin. It's a double shot. And my t-shirt says happy hour as well. Yeah. <laughs> this, you could measure this out, but I like um, a real bitter lemonade. So I go a bit nuts with this. Well, how much would you put in if you were measured in it? A double. Mm, that's probably a bit of double there. Okay, whoa. That's fine. That's fine. I do like it. Drink a lemon cup? Yeah, could you cut my lemon for me? How would you like it? Circular or like the little a wedge would be fine. Wedge. Fun bit. Now if you were a professional, mm -hmm. you'd now pour this over ice. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna use the ice that I've got in it. Yeah. And then just top it up with soda. Mm hmm. There's my little stirrer. Sorry. You calm yourself. Oh. Why a mini? Oh. 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 I love a good lemon juice in the afternoon. <laughs> Can't taste the gin. You want some more gin in there? No, no, no. I don't. I'm gonna have some more gin in there. Are you going to drink that or am I going to drink it? Probably you. Yeah. Sweet. Happy Monday. Oh, it is Monday as well, isn't it? <laughs> if you like cloudy lemonade mm -hmm. or like Fanta lemon, that yeah. sort of taste, you'll really like this. And I like it. If you like gin. It's simple to do. Let me try it since you put more gin. It makes me happy. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, that. That is nice. Now, that's perfect for a summer's day. Yeah. That is so refreshing. I guess I'll be tidying up now then. <laughs> no, uh, don't put too much of it away, just in case. No, I might, let me just rinse it then. I might have a couple. What time are we cooking dinner? Don't know, mate. When do you want it? Well, I think the next thing you'll see in this vlog is us cooking some dinner, which will happen now. I'm gonna purposely make it not happen then. 
What can I do before then? Should we go and watch some telly then? I think that's what most people would usually do. We'll be back making, um, I'm gonna, Claire's gonna show you how she handles a sausage. Which, trust me. I mean, this isn't going in. <laughs> what are you, 14? All right, let's go watch the chase or something oh, before dinner. Is it the chase? Is it the chase time yet? Not yet. We could watch some tipping point. Yep. Let's do it. I don't feel good. I feel really shaky and horrible. Do you mean to peel the potatoes? I think you can, go. I'm going to peel potatoes. When you can sit down and relax, I'm going to peel some potatoes. I'm going to peel these potatoes' brains out. No, I won't do that. I don't trust you. What do you mean you don't trust me? I'm going to peel a potato. How come you've never done it before, then? Not peeling them? No, you need to get all the little. I know. You doing mashed potato? Yeah. You alright? Eh? No. You give us some water. What? You can do it. You made it look really easy when you were doing it. You're holding it wrong. What do you mean? You need to hold it so that you're slicing it. Okay, hold it more up so that you're slicing it. No. No, it's coming off. Wait, I'm doing it. Doing all of these. It was alright, wasn't it? Feeling better, by the way. Had a little funny tum there. Yeah. Which happens to me sometimes. Just worry. That gravy tastes brilliant. Oh, I'm good at gravy. It is good at gravy. You hungry? Mm -hmm. And it is looking good. That's my impression of Cousin Eddie. Who's <laughs> that? Who's Cousin Eddie? Give me some more of that, Clark. This is good. The Griswolds. The National Lampoons. The Christmas movie that we watch. Remember the guy that turns up with the Rottweiler and the hat and the cigar? <laughs> Put your hand under it. Oh, I don't need. Can you bring your plate up then? Oh, we do. What? I wanted a. Uh, oh. What? What? Oh. Right. What do you want? I wanted, it, I wanted it stacked. Oh, you okay? That doesn't. Yeah, really that's not mean. a dish towel. That's yeah, a nice five o'clock. One of these. Am I having two? Because I'm the dad. Yeah. You want this in there? Yeah, yeah. Are you the dad or are you the child? <laughs> okay. Then sausage. And it like that? <laughs> does that make you happy? It does make. It does make you happy actually. <laughs> yeah. And, and then gravy. And then gravy. <laughs> Gotta get a gravy boat. We do. <laughs> You want me to make a little smiley face at the gravy for you? A little bit. Oh, sh**. Give you all the gravy. That looks amazing. Look at that, imagine getting that for dinner. That's brilliant. Cereal. Breakfast cereal. Tin sardines. Breakfast cereal. Oh! Breakfast cereal. Final answer. A snapshot is an informal word for which of the photograph. Meal, meeting, party, photograph. Oh! Well, there we go. Possibly a vlog. We'll find out when you edit this mm. tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for watching. 
Hopefully we'll be back next week. If you would like to subscribe and do the notifications and all that sort of stuff you're supposed to do, and that would be smashing. All right, we're out. More of the same next week. More of the same. Uh, peace. Bye. You for real? I just remembered I haven't farted during this vlog. You're fucking disgusting. <laughs>